It literally just started raining harder. Anyway, hopefully you can hear me, and I'm going to be saving you money today. Quite literally, because these little dowels, these are actually 7 16 dowels. I'm going to be testing them against 3 8 regular dowels that are not fluted and don't have the price tag. Anyway, cutting your own dowels seems like the cheap way out, and you're probably not going to get a good of a joint. We're going to test that. I'm thinking you're going to be surprised by the results. Both the pins we're testing today are going to be oak for a direct comparison, except for in the actual size of the pin. The species we're using are oak and poplar, so a softer wood and a harder wood. One is more likely to crack, and one is not. So it'll be interesting to see how they perform against each other. Most people watching me are probably not using hardwoods like poplar and, and oak, so I should probably use some pine. I don't, have, I don't have any pine in one by, surprisingly enough, but I do have two by, so I'm going to rip it down and make this the same size. I'm only doing one test per species per type of dowel. That is because with this many species, there should be an average. It, it shouldn't make that much of a difference, honestly. And I'm only doing one test per, per kind of wood because I only have six of those special dowels. And I'm not going to buy more of those stupid things. And they are 7 16 dowels. I'm testing them against 3 eighths, and I'm purposely giving them an advantage. It's only a 16th, and the actual shaft diameter of these is about the same as these. So it's very, very similar, honestly. And I'm giving them an advantage because I also, I still think they're going to lose because I think this, these are going to be better. But we'll find out. Very, very simple test. Two of these here and two of this there. And we're going to separate this in some way. I'm not sure I'm going to do that yet. Anyway, we're going to separate it and we're going to see which side breaks first. Pins there. Pins there. Pin there, let's take one of those and mark it on these and cut these down to length. But yeah, for the side grain, I think I can just, I just hold it and it'll be fine. But for these ones that are going to be on the end, I do have this big NDF guide. That'll help. I can just hold it up against there. Probably won't even clamp it. I may clamp it and then that'll help me keep it all nice and square and straight and parallel. Okay, now we're going to glue all these up and find out how accurately I drilled on my holes, which I'm, you know, not, not too hopeful about. I'm using Type On 1, which is the most common wood glue these days. We're just going to slather up that hole surface and we're going to bang it in. We got glue in the holes, put some more in the hole, put some on the dowel. There's no point in rubbing it down because believe me, it will be rubbed down it. Just look at it, you can see it. Way, way too much glue because we don't care about surface finish right now. Now this is glued up, we're going to wait till the morning and see which is stronger, a fluted 7 16 style or a solid oak regular dowel. Okay, the glue ups are all done, we're going to take them apart and we're going to test them, and I don't know how we're going to test them quite yet, but I was looking at this little vise that I bought, and I was thinking if you could put something on the back and then clamp down, that little arm in the back goes backwards and this goes, this stays where it is, so you could press it apart. Of course it wouldn't work with this vise, but with a larger vise with a much longer tail, you could do it. And this one doesn't actually retract itself, but like that. And that would be a pretty even test, I feel like. The stress concentration might be slightly different. We can get it really close. We're gonna set up you guys on the business side of this operation so you have a good view of what's going to happen. Perfect, and we're gonna set up the GoPro, or the GoE, on this side so we have some view of what's happening over here. I don't have my tripod mount, so I'm gonna do restoration of this vice too, so look out for that video. Just looked out my window. Look. That's pretty crazy, right? You don't see that every day. Yeah, that's normal. It just kind of showed up. Now, first test is going to be pine. We're going to work up in the thickness. We're going to use this one face up, actually. First one face up. So 7 16 on this side, 3 8 on that side. Let's see who wins. I don't really want to twist it. One of these guys might help. If I do this, 
flush on the end, then we have contact. Well, that makes it much more even if I can get it in there. Point of contact is right there and right there. That's pretty even. Okay, here we go. Everybody's filming. Ah, oh, man, I really can't say which one's going to break. This one's going to break pretty quickly, though, because it is pine. Here we go. I hear cracking. You see it good? Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh! Is this going to fly off? Or is it going to break? Wow! Ah! Here we go. I should have counted how many rotations that was. Oh! Ah! Oh, three eighths broke. How many rotations that was. Oh! Ah! Oh, three eighths broke. I'm not surprised, but let's see how it broke. Oh, it actually pulled out. That's surprising. I figured it was going to break. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, she pulled straight out. Seven sixteenths held strong. Wow. Let's go until it slips off, huh? Oh, we're almost closed anyway. And that's it. Wow. There you go. That's failure point. You can't see the lines, but there's three A's. Actually, let me write it on there. I thought it was a good pencil. Ah, anyway, three eighths here, three eighths, seven sixteenths. We're switching sides. It was just too much for those three eighths dowels. So is this going to turn into an ad for the dowels I was trying to destroy? Because that would really stink. That looks pretty good. We're upside down, so I know we're in the right places. That's not touching. Crank down on that. Wow, that's tight. Okay, we're ready. Stress concentration here and here. Appears to be very even. Yep. Okay, let's go. This is probably going to break quicker, actually, because it's harder. Whoa, I see this one moving already. I think I'm right. Oh, wait. This is 3 eighths. Oh no. This is going to be so sad if 3 eighths always loses. Oh man, the wood's breaking. I'm totally going to chalk it up to the wood type. Oh! Ugh. Man, that's disappointing. Man, I covered those in glue, too. Wow. Yeah, that snapped one. And this side is just, you know, cruising along over there, destroying it. We need to do a test in between the same size pins and see what happens, because this is just ridiculous. All right, this is going to be oak, 3 eighths on that side again. I think I know what the result is going to be, though. Here we go. Looks good. Looks pretty good. Even it up. Alright, now let's see what happens. Oh man, it's moving already over there. Oh, this one's moving too though. Ah! Three A's! Oh, this one's moving too though. Ah! Three A's! Is it really just the size of the pins that matters? Well, we didn't do a direct comparison test, definitely. Because this is ridiculous. That one broke the pin. That was a really good bond, though. Yep, keep going until it breaks. Fake it till you make it. Nope, it's pulling out now. Okay, so Madison Mill Incorporated, made in USA, oak dowel pins, completely smoked me in this test. This is just ridiculous. I mean, they just slipped right out of there without any. Even, they weren't even thinking about it. They didn't. These ones didn't try to break. They, they weren't even stressed at all. So we need to get more pins. But 
<laughs> I kind of don't want to. Because I want to keep my $3 dowels that I can make 10 of these pins out of and not have to buy these pins because they're so stinking strong. But I'm going to leave it up to you. If you think I should do a direct comparison test, leave me a comment and tell me all the ways I did this wrong. Um, there's a bird on the roof. Anyway, I'm going to leave this test right here. So, goodbye. I will see you in the next video, which will hopefully be a 3 8 pin to 3 8 dowel test video. Let's do it again, but only if you tell me to. Goodbye, and thank you.